Hey guys, back again with another review. This time I'm taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Justice League Flash. I uh, just got this figure recently. And I'm really excited about it. Gotten some cool pictures. Uh, he's really poseable. I really like him. Uh, before we get into the figure though, let's take a look at the box. So, um, just has some pictures on the front. This was a web exclusive, so there's no window on the front. But just some cool pictures of the figure. It says Flash down here. Bunch of Japanese, I think is what that is. Bandai 2018, Tamashi and Bandai logos. Uh, on the side, just says Flash. Has the Justice League logo. Finishes out the arm on the picture of the front. Move my light so you can get a better look at this. Uh, there we go. There's some pictures on the back more Japanese and stuff like that and then the other side is just a vertical picture of the figure and uh, yeah dress league logo at the top that's about it don't want to spend too much time on that that so yeah let's get into this figure and uh, so yeah he's really really detailed and I really like it um, let's get a move my lights to get a closer look at this guy this figure looks absolutely amazing. I really need to. There we go. Get a look at that. Man, I just really can't get good lighting in here. Sorry, guys. Me. That's a little bit better. But yeah, as you can see, the skin tone looks really nice. I like how. Um, it looks like an actual person. You can see like that they shaded it really well. They did a really good job. This is one of their better face paints or sculpts or something like that. A little bit of an imperfection right there. Didn't even notice that until right now. But yeah. I like to look at the back of the helmet. It looks kind of cool. Like aerodynamics the back here the logo looks really good let's focus on that it looks really good and yeah, it's really bright there we go I'm sorry Ugh. now it's too bright sorry about that guys just trying to figure that out but yeah I like the look of this I like the look of the suit doesn't make a whole lot of sense for the Flash, but I like it. I like his shoes. They look really cool. Looks really, really nice. I like the texture and all the bits that have, like, the, um, the kind of... I like the bits that have the texture and the bits that have the smooth. I like that you can see the difference, and there's some, like, s painting that looks like scratches on the helmet there that's really cool but yeah let's actually take a look at the accessories real quick so he comes with a pair of open or semi-open hands kind of like relaxed hands all the hands look really good they all have really nice detail to them just like the suit there's like textured and untextured bits but yeah these look really good I like it there's a little bit of a imperfection there but I won't really notice that yeah, these look really good and then he has these flat running hands these also look really good you kind of see the detail on these a bit better but yeah those also look really good and then of course he has the fisted hands that are on the figure doesn't come with a whole lot, but it doesn't really need to come with a whole lot. It's the Flash. doesn't need any holding hands or trigger finger hands or anything like that. doesn't really need a whole lot for this figure. But, so, let's get into the articulation. Ooh, there, okay, sorry. So, as far as the articulation on this figure goes, it is really, really good. His head can look up about that far with the neck and looks down really far with the neck uh, he's got 
of course it can turn back and forth uh, his arms come out that far there's no bicep swivel it's kind of like an artificial swivel in the shoulder and then he's got double jointed elbows he's got wrist rotation and hinge of course it is an SH figure arts so you can rotate that wrist peg to get it to uh, move in the direction you want it's also got a butterfly joint which is really nice uh, you just kind of have to drop the the shoulder down to get it out and then there's lower waist swivel not a whole lot of diaphragm movement here this is all out of focus sorry there we go so no real diaphragm movement it's all down in the lower area but it works fine his legs kick up about that far sometimes you can get it even farther and his legs kick back about that far of course you can get them farther sometimes uh, swivel up at the top here and then you can get the double jointed knees to about, uh, to about right there and then he's got ankles moved down up and he has ankle pivot and of course he has a toe hinge so that all works out really really well he's got great articulation one of the best it's kind of like uh, an SHV or it's fighting body that a few other figures share and I will compare him to one of those with the size comparison next. Ah, there we go. So, hang on. Let me. Sorry about that, guys. I was grabbing some more figures for size comparisons. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, you saw one of them, but. Uh, okay, here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Anakin Skywalker, who he's a like a, about the same height or maybe a little bit taller. And then here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Ray from The Last Jedi, of course, because they haven't given us any other rays. So he looks good next to those two. He is taller than Ray. Blend those two out. Here he is next to the SH Figure Arts. Eh, crap. Okay. SH Figure Arts Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi. He looks. He's probably about the same height or a little bit taller. Kylo may be a little bit taller. But that's it for the Star Wars comparisons. Then here he is next to the. Another fighting body, SH Figure Arts Spider Man, who he is significantly taller than. The Spider Man figure is really tiny. I remember when I opened him, I was really surprised with how small he was. Then, here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Bruce Lee, who is insanely short compared to him, maybe a little bit too short. It's really crazy because SH Figure Arts. I mean, this is SH Figure Arts, but usually a Figure Arts runs a little bit smaller. But, um, yeah. And then here he is next to a standard Marvel Legends suited body. If I can get him to stand properly. Hang on. Sorry about that. There's two in it. A suited body, who he's around the same height as. The Marvel Legends is a little bit taller. And then finally, here he is n compared to the Mafex Justice League Batman who he looks really cool next to and the Mafex suit Joker ooh Joker is really blown out there <laughs> but yeah he looks really cool next to the two of those I really like uh, having these two together they look really cool the only two figures that I have from Justice League didn't really love the movie, but the suit de designs are pretty cool. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the video right about here. Um, this figure is really, really nice. I really, really like it. He's got great articulation, and he's just so good. I really, really like it. It's, like I said, really great articulation. You can get some really good poses with him. Uh, like running poses are so easy uh, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to stand them on the dioramas but there you go 
areas in a running pose. Looking really cool. Really like it. I'll have some pictures at the end as a slideshow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next review. And I'm going to be trying to do daily uploads. Uh, I want to get more consistent about that. But I'll see what I can do. So I'll see you guys in the next one.